Today I'm going to teach you how to change your oil on your Sportster. So uh, it's that time of the year again, that season time, that mileage that we all hit, that we have to uh, exchange the delicate fluids of our motor vehicle. Now I've done like three, four oil changes on this bike. Um, one after the break-in period, and then every one about 2,500 to 3,000 miles later. So now we're just at the beginning of spring, and uh, I'm well over 3,000 miles at this point. I think I went about 500 miles over. Um, but that was because I rode 1,400 miles. So um, I'm also going to be changing my primary slash transmission fluid along with the oil because I just hit 10,000 miles, and... Um, even though you do it after a breaking period, I'm just going to do it like every 10,000 miles. Uh, just so my brain remembers instead of like, you know, what, like 11, 500 or whatever. I don't remember. I don't even remember when I did it. So today I'm going to be also doing that using limited tools since I'm in my mother's driveway. These are pretty simple tasks you should be able to do yourself. Um, and it costs way less than taking it to the dealer. I know that a Harley dealer, I think, charges, what, 120 something for fucking oil change? Like, Christ, dude. The parts are like $25, if that makes any sense. Um, and even though I get that it's an hour of labor, fuck off, it's an hour of labor. You know? It, for an oil change, it's you take your drain tube, take the cork out, change your filter, fill it. That's it. But... I'll be showing you how to do that, so you'll never have to be scammed by the dealer again, you know. So, the primary fluid's a little different. There's a couple ways to go about it, but all in all, it's always just drain and fill. So, today, um, the simple tools you'll need, um, some can vary, but basically what you'll need is um, something to take... The oil filter off with, which I have my ratchet, um, an extension, and an oil filter claw for a screwdriver. It doesn't have to be this big. It actually should probably be smaller. Um, to take the plug screw out. And then um, for the primary, you're just going to need a 5 8 socket and a 5 32nds um, Allen head for the inspection cover to uh, fill it and uh, of course i got genuine harley davidson motor oil um i've run mobile one in it i was just at the harley store anyways so i got harley davidson uh conventional motor oil, motor oil a inspection cover gasket and primary case fluid now i got varying amounts of the oil i got four quarts since it takes about three to 3.5 quarts of oil. Um, I just went ahead and got four just in case. And then it only takes 32 fluid ounces of the primary case fluid. So along with that, I also got a funnel, my oil filter, and um, a ratchet to make it easier to take the derby cover off. So while my neighbor's making noise in his garage, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown <laughs> of uh, where all your component locations are at. Um, and then we'll get right into this. So up front here, we have um, the oil filter. Uh, it's in a pretty good location, um, except that you're gonna wanna watch for it dripping down here into the lower area. Um, I'll show you a quick trick for that. Um, and then back here, whoo, sorry. We have our drain tube, which again, is just a screw. Take this plug out and uh drain it it's pretty easy so i almost forgot first things first um this is your oil cap and your uh fill hole so you just press that down turn it to the left just pull it right up now you want to make sure not to get oil all over everything so i'm going to do this take this right over here and put her down here in my fill area now what i'll do is i'll Loosen that screw and uh, drain the oil. So what you'll do, you'll take your screwdriver, flathead, loosen this a little, 
take your plug out. And oil should start to drain in. So now that that's dripping, I'm just gonna take my plug, stuff her back in there, take this, tighten her back up. It doesn't have to be too tight, but you would definitely wanna make sure this plug does not come out. Uh, if this plug came out, sorry, but you'd be shit out of luck. Ugh, so that's good. <sighs> and then shove this bad boy back up there. Grab your clip. Find a neat spot up there on the frame and just attach her. Again, you want to make sure that this thing is going to be safe. Safe from anything hitting it. Just want to make sure it's secure up there and it's not going nowhere. It's a good spot for mine. Um, we'll clean off the top of that and then we'll move on to the filter. <sighs> okay, so here we have the filter. I'm just going to take my, uh, drain move some shit out of the way and uh get it situated right now this is kind of a fucking annoying position right it's gonna get oil all over this and all over everything else so i don't have a metal one um some oil chain shops have little metal guards that come under here but i just made one out of cardboard so i'm gonna come under here put that right there get that even closer so when I take this off, this will catch the oil and just drain into there instead of getting all over my ground. Now, like I said earlier, you can use any type of oil filter wrench, but I'm going to use this. You can even use your hand if it's not tight enough. I was getting at it last night and I could get it with my hand, but just give her a quick loosen. Give this bad boy a turn. Slowly get at her. Bad boy there and there goes that oil. It's looking clean, ain't shit in it except for the stuff that's in my oil drain pan. But uh, I'm gonna let that drain for a little so that when I take it off, it's not gonna be a huge mess. And then uh, we'll uh, put a new one on and I'll show you how to fill it. So I got my genuine Harley uh, oil filter here. I'm gonna clean that off because it's got a bunch of dust on it. I'm gonna take a little bit of oil. Make sure you're wearing gloves, oil's dangerous. Um, and lube it up a little bit so that the next time when you put it on, it ain't gonna come off so hard. Use this hand, try to get it clean on there. Give her a couple spins, put her in place, and then give her good old, move that out of the way. Give her a good tight down. You don't want it to be loose, but you don't want it to be so tight that you're never gonna get it off again. And there we go. So now we'll uh, go up and put oil in her. So, um, I'm using Harley Davidson Genuine Motorcycle Oil. I know I've said this fucking 18 fucking million times during this video. Um, you can get the synthetic one, um, but I'm just gonna say, if you're gonna get the synthetic, just go with Mobile One. It's cheaper. And I would, if I swear on Mobile One, I would not swear on the Harley synthetic stuff. So, um, with that said, um, if you look it up, the surf service manual says three quarts. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna put about two in, and then I'm gonna start it, and then I'm gonna check the level. And then whatever after that I'm gonna fill. Always remember your oil capacity is whatever your dipstick says. If you have the correct dipstick, just go till it says full, so. Alright, now that you've started and let it run for a little bit, uh, make sure that your oil light's not on, like um, the low oil light on your Speedo. Mine wasn't, probably because I put two quarts in there. That's enough to not trigger the oil light. And then let's go ahead and check the oil. So I put about two quarts in there. And it 
looks like we're about at the fill port. So it says on here, well, I just wiped off the oil, but if you check here, it says it was about there. So it says it's about one quart from here to there. So I'm gonna add that third quart, check it again, and I think we'll be good. check it last time let's hope it's not way overfilled and if it isn't i bought a fourth quart just in case so you never know it's right under the fill now it's not now it's not um super hot this new oil is not super hot so it being right under the full point is right about where i want it to be now i will ride it and check it periodically so if after a 10 15 minute ride up to work and i check it and it's still at that point um i'm gonna fill it just a little bit that's exactly the reason why we buy the extra quart rather be rather have more supply than less so i think we're good there uh let's move on to the primary okay so there's a couple ways you can do this um you can take off the derby cover which i'll point out in a moment or you could take off the inspection cover and fill it that way. Um, either way, uh, it takes about 32 fluid ounces. When you take off the derby cover, you actually get like the right, like you can check the right fluid amount, but I don't have the gasket for it. And I don't want to take it off, use the same gasket and um, ended up, it end up being too, too old or like malformed. So that's when it would like leak. But even if it did, it's not that big of, it's not that hard of a fix. You just take the derby cover off and put a new O-ring on there. But I'll show you what I'm talking about now. So this is your derby cover. Um, it's six screws, uh, T27s, I think. If you wanted to take off the derby cover, you'd have to take off this foot peg, it looks like. And that is not what I want to do. So what we're going to take off is this inspection cover. The inspection cover, um, it's a smaller hole but uh, it takes a 530 seconds Allen head. Uh, I can confirm that in a second. Um, right below it, which looks like it's happening again, is my shifter seal, and it leaks all the time. Harley's replaced it twice, I've replaced it once. It's not actually that hard of a thing to replace, but it fucking leaks all the time, it pisses me off. Um, but other than that, there's a 5.8 screw down here, or bolt down here, that's your drain bolt. So. I'm gonna go get my tools and we're gonna get after it. First, we're gonna take off the dirt or the inspection cover. Right. That's gonna fall out pretty much as soon as you take it out. Um, then we're gonna take off this little uh, seal here. I could use a pick, I'm guessing, um, but I'm gonna have to use a screwdriver. I do have a new one, it's not that big of a deal, but you definitely wanna make sure you have a new one because even just bending that like that and nicking that down there, you're gonna fucking have some leaks. So here we have our fill port now basically, um, and then I'm gonna loosen up the bolt on the bottom. Where are you at? You can sort of just do it by feel. Ugh. There you go. So quick tip uh you want to have like a low oil pan for this next bit um because if you don't then you can't really drain your primary fluid now can you but mine's too tall sucks whatever i have tupperware and a plastic bag that's gonna work <laughs> so i got a little lower angle angle of the dangle Get it loose enough, you want to take it and just move it out of the way. Oop. Make sure you're filling up the right part. Let's 
So basically on here, um, there's a magnet on the end that collects debris and clutch material. Um, it looks pretty good, so I'm not too worried about it. So while that drips, um, we're going to need a helper or we're going to need a couple of blocks or if you're rich, a jack, like a motorcycle jack. That's so bougie and uh, totally not backyard mechanic like shit. So um, I'm just going to get my girlfriend out here <laughs> to uh, hold the bike up straight for the filling because filling it, um, it does have to be level. So. Once that's done dripping, uh, show you how to fill it. Now that I've got um, that bolt tying back up, again, 18 to 20 foot pounds, be careful. You don't want to over tighten it um, because you can spread those threads or even like over, like if you want to massively over tighten it, it's going to be hard to get off. And that's on you. So <laughs> I'm going to have my girlfriend um, level off the bike. I found a trans funnel that I've never used back here in my old garage so that's fun I'm not gonna have to use the oil filter one that I or the oil funnel I used for that so I'm just gonna set the camera up and we're gonna fill it up glug 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 he's got something in his mouth that he definitely shouldn't have is it a ball no it's like a piece of trash <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now that my girlfriend's holding it up straight, I'm just gonna pop this bad boy in there. And it takes 32 fluid ounces, which this is exactly that. One quart, 94, 946 milliliters. Just gonna pour it right in, not make a mess. I know that there's a little dirt in this funnel if you can see it, but I'm avoiding it. Gonna clean the rest out with brake cleaning water. Get all that good fluid in there. Wipe off your inspection area. Now after this, I will go for a test ride. Shift through all the gears. Make sure I can shift into neutral. <laughs> okay. So now that we have that, we have our new inspection cover stuff. Ba ba ba. We're gonna take that. And we're gonna take our inspection cover. Slap that on there. Make sure that's up against the thing. Sort of press it into place. Sort of. We're gonna take that. You're gonna put your O rings on these screws. These bolts. Just like that. We're gonna put our inspection cover on. Hold it like that. We're gonna shove these bad boys in there that in place just long enough for you to take this one take this one now if i did do this wrong uh feel free to correct me i'm sure i'll find out in a little <laughs> when everything's back together um i don't know how tight those are so i'm just gonna take a ratchet put the bit on there and tighten them down to about what they were before so all in all, that wasn't that hard, now was it? I know that it can sound pretty, I don't know, daunting if you've never done it. It's really not that hard. A um, Couple things to know, have the right tools. Don't round off this shit. It's fucking annoying to get them out. Um, clean everything as you go. Don't leave it sit because if you're gonna leave residue, it's gonna get everywhere, especially on those pipes if you're doing that oil change. Um, Always replace your O-rings and gaskets. That's one thing to remember. And always dispose of your used oil and filters uh, appropriately. Take it to your like local shop. Any local automotive shop, car, motorcycle, any auto parts store. They'll recycle your oil for free. They'll take your oil filter. Don't just throw it in your trash can. Don't just throw it on the lawn. Throw it in somebody else's yard in a ditch. Don't be an asshole. Okay, because like, we only got one earth. Let's not taint it with shitty used motor oil. Um, but other than that, we're all set. I'm gonna take her for a test drive, and when I get back, I'll close out the video. Alrighty, so I took it for a spin. 
Uh, I got no leaks at the inspection cover, uh, the primary bolt, drain bolt, and I got no leaks anywhere else. So, so I think we're good on this one. Um, Batty's out here now, so he might say hi. Hey, stop eating rocks, big boss. Stop eating rocks. Come here. Hey, come here. Batty loves rocks. Come here, Batty. Come here, Batty. Batty boy. Hey, can you bring him over here so I can get him? I got this. <laughs> oh no, he wants the stick. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's how you change your primary fluid and uh, your engine oil on your uh, Evolution Motors Sportster, which is like all of them. I'm pretty sure they're like all the same. So uh, I don't really have any other bikes to do it on, so I can't really show you on like the big twins or anything, but it's pretty simple. I'm sure this video will be fucking forever long. Um, but I love making them and it needed to get done on the bike. So up next, I gotta I'm gonna do the brakes. So that'll be pretty simple, I think. I say that. And it's probably going to be the worst thing ever. Um, after that, i got to adjust the headlight, but I don't think I'm going to do that now. But other than that, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to. Hit that bell button for whenever my latest videos come out. And then, uh, you know, follow me at Twitter at Danger of Death. Uh, Instagram, Dangerously Underscore Cautious. And uh, I stream on Twitch at Dangerously Underscore Cautious also. So check those out. Links below. Um, again, thanks for watching. Give me a like. Subscribe, maybe. You know?